tutorial video. This time around, we're going to be looking at an Excel related topic, which is how to clean up data. Now, over here on the screen, I have some address data. So these might have been addresses from customer orders or addresses from employees or customers in our database or something like that. But in any case, the address data is all here. These are all US addresses and you can look at it and you can see that it's really horribly formatted. The spacing is all off, there are extra spaces, some of the states are capitalized, some are not capitalized, some are partially capitalized, the zip codes are all over the place, there are leading spaces in the beginning. So bottom line is that there are a lot of problems with this data. And what we like to do when we get data like this is go in and make it easier to manipulate and then fix all these problems. So fix the spacing, make it so that we can separate out all the different data. So we have the street address and then the city name, the state and the zip code all in different columns and go and make it much easier to manipulate and analyze like that. And of course, the reason why this happens, the reason this topic is relevant is because oftentimes you'll be pasting in data from websites or PDFs or other sources and you get a lot of these problems. You get a lot of ugly formatting, you get a lot of extra spaces, non-printable characters, other things like that. Another issue is, as is the case here, in a lot of cases you may have data grouped together in a way that is not very useful. And this happens all the time on the job in finance. Clients will send you documents and data that are horribly formatted, that are extremely user unfriendly because they're not used to always outputting the data in easy to use and manipulate format. So if you go in and take a few minutes to fix it, it makes it a hundred times easier to work with. It makes your whole life a whole lot easier when you're using it in models and analysis later on. And as I say here, one option would be to go in and manually fix it. So we could go over and we could say, you know what, forget about doing this the smart way. Let's just go in and delete some of these spaces right here. And there we go. The only problem is that, sure, if you have say 10 or 11 or 12 addresses, okay, that's no problem. But what if you had more, like I just opened another file here with other address data. What if you had something like a thousand and one addresses? Is that something that you actually want to go in and do manually? Probably not. You probably want to jump off the roof of a tall building if someone asks you to go do something like that. So to avoid committing suicide, you probably want to learn about how to properly format this data in Excel using built-in functions that will save you a lot of time. And that's what we're going to cover in this lesson. We're going to go over a couple of these key functions. I have them listed over here on the side. Trim is for removing extra spaces. Proper is for making the first letter in each word uppercase. Clean removes non-printable characters from text. Upper and lower capitalize or make all letters lowercase in all words in the text you selected. And then value and text. We're not really going to look at those here, but those are other very useful text manipulation functions. And then down here, I have a couple of the other functions and shortcuts we're going to be using. Text to columns, copy and paste formulas and values. So that's what we're going to be covering in this lesson. Now, what I want to do is just jump into this exercise and show you how to do this. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to remove all the extra spaces and capitalize each individual word with trim and proper. We could even add clean for good measure, although we don't actually need it here. So to do this, let's first start by creating some extra space. And I'm just going to select this column with control space bar. And then I can press control shift plus a couple times to add some extra column space here. And let's go in and do this. So I'm going to type proper trim clean and then apply it to this data. Close it out, control C, and then a bunch of ways you can copy this down. I prefer alt ESF, even though it's from an older version of Excel. And this already looks a lot better. So we have now fixed this issue with the tons of extra spaces and we still need to fix some more, but we're making progress. We've made progress here and this looks much better than the initial data that we were starting with. So we're doing well, but now the next step, as I say here, is we need to separate everything into columns because first off we want to have the states the zip codes the street addresses and so on in different columns and then second we still have some issues if you look at the underlying data for example the state abbreviations these are not all consistently capitalized some of them are partially capitalized some of them are not so we need to go in and fix that the first thing we do here is we actually copy and paste everything here as values and the reason this is important and i have a note down here that you have to be really careful with it is if you look at this function right now, each of these cells is using this function equals proper trim clean. Well, the problem is that if we go into the text to columns function and we do that, the formula may get messed up and this may not work correctly. So when we do something like this to clean up the data, it's really important to copy and paste this as values as long the, along the way so that we don't have to rely on this formula continuing to work. So we're just going to copy and paste this as values now. So 
shift control down arrow key to select it, control C, alt ESV, and we have that. Now to actually separate this into columns, let's select this whole thing and then alt AE or alt DE in Excel and we can go to delimited. Now in this case we have a comma separating each of these pieces of data initially. So we're going to go with that for the first set. And then for the destination, let's pick something that's beyond the edge of this. So let's say cell I3 right here. And let's go to finish. Okay, so now we have the street addresses, we have the city names, and we have the states and the zip codes. These are still listed together. So we're going to have to go in and do something to fix that. Now, as I say in step number two, we may have to apply this several times because of that issue with commas and spaces and how we want to separate it by commas for some of the data, but then some of the data is actually separated by spaces. So it's a little bit more complicated than you might think. Now to fix that, of course, it's not too complicated. All we have to do is then apply that text to columns function to this data and use spaces for the delimiting character. Now, before I do that, I wanna do one other thing, which is remove all the extra spaces from all this data. And that's gonna help us a lot later on. So to do that, I can apply the trim function once again. So I'll type trim. And let's go up and select the data right here. And then let's just press control C and then highlight this whole area. I'm holding down the shift key and the down arrow key to do that. And so we have this whole thing selected. And once again, what I'm gonna do here is copy and paste this as values because we don't wanna be copying and pasting around these trim formulas. We really just want the values that come out of this formula. So control C, alt ESV to paste it as values. And then what I can actually do is press control X to cut and paste this, go up here, and then press control V to paste it right there. So we have that. And now what we can do is apply text to columns once again to fix this data over here. So I selected that, alt AE for text to columns, and then we want delimited and we want to select space for this one. So we have this, and for the destination, let's go one next to this right here. And so we have that. We're once again making progress, but there are a few things here that need fixing. First off, as I say, we need to capitalize all the state abbreviations. There are also some issues with zip codes. We may need to apply additional trims. We actually just did that step. And as always, you have to be really careful with copying and pasting the data as values. You don't want to be copying and pasting around these formulas, especially when you're changing them from columns and to columns and back and forth because the formulas could easily get messed up. So. Let's go back here and take a look at some of the issues. So first off, issue number one is that these state abbreviations, let's fix all these by using the upper function. I'm gonna delete this column over here. Just select the whole thing and you can just hit the delete key. And let's type upper, select the state abbreviation and then control C, alt ESF to paste as formulas, we have that. And then same idea once again, control C, alt ESV to paste it as values. And then we can actually delete this column over here because we don't need it anymore. And you can just press control space bar and then control minus to delete that column. Now for the zip codes. So the issue here is that the formatting is wrong. If you press control one, you'll see what I mean. If you go to number and you'll see it's listed as general right here. The problem is that if there's a zero in front of this and it's just a general number format, Excel interprets that as being meaningless. But of course with zip codes, a zero in front is very important. It actually means something. So what we need to do is select this whole area, go to control one, and then Alt C for category, and then change it to text. And then what we can do is go into this zip code where the zero in the beginning was deleted, and we can enter the cell with F2 or Control U on the Mac. We can go all the way to the left side and enter a zero right there. And so we have our zip code fixed now. Now, looking at this data, this looks pretty good. What we can do is actually delete this old data over here because we don't need this anymore. And I can just Press, I can highlight this whole area, then press Control X to cut this, and then paste it. And I'm actually going to go paste it right in this area right here. So we have that. So we have the street addresses over here, we have the cities, we have the states, and we have the zip codes. Looking good so far. Now for the final step in this process, really all we need to do, we've already deleted the extra rows and columns and shifted over everything properly. What we need to do actually is go back and sort of do step four here, add the column headers at the top based on the copy and paste of the original header. So we're gonna take the formatting from this header and then copy and paste it over here and then just update it and indicate the city name, the state, and the zip code. Now to do that, probably the simplest thing to do is just press control C, shift and right arrow key a few times and then control V. And what I can do is press control U to go into each cell or F2 on the PC and then delete anything that we don't want. So I'm just doing that for all these. 
and then we have that. So that's it. So if you want, you can go in and do other things. You can add borders around this area if you want to do something like that. It doesn't really matter. It already looks a whole lot better. If you wanted to, you could also go in and fix some of the spacing here. I'm going to delete the other text up here at the top. What I mean by fixing the spacing is there's way too much space around the addresses here, but there's not enough space around the cities. One simple trick you can do to fix this is highlight this whole area again. So you can press Control Shift Down arrow key and then Alt O C A to auto fit the column. Now that's a shortcut from an older version of Excel, but it still works in all the new versions. And I prefer to use it because it's just faster. So Shift Control Down arrow key under Address and then Alt O C A again. We could even label this street address to be a little bit more accurate. And so there we have it. So the spacing is much better. We could go in and do add other bells and whistles like centering the states, for example, alt H A C, and that looks a little bit better, but for the most part, we're done. And now the data is properly formatted and cleaned up. So that's what we did here. Just to recap, this is important because you often get data in horribly formatted files from PDFs or websites or copied and pasted from elsewhere. Clients will send you data that's horrible. You could go in and manually fix it, but it's very time consuming. You want to automate it as much as possible. Trim proper and clean and then upper and lower are good functions for doing this. The text columns function is critical, as are the copy and paste formulas and paste values functions. You saw what we did here. We first used trim proper and clean to remove the extra spaces and capitalize things properly. We separated everything into columns with text to columns, applied it several times in this case because of the co issue with commas and spaces. Then we fixed the state abbreviations by capitalizing them. We fixed the issue with zip codes by changing that formatting. We applied additional trims in some cases. Then we added the column headers at the top based on the copy and paste of this original one. And then we applied some other bells and whistles like fixing the spacing of the columns with the auto fit column function as well. So now that you know how to do this, next you should go try this with real data on your own. So next time you're working with data that you've copied and pasted from elsewhere or data that's not formatted very well, go and try this. Use these functions, trim, proper, text to columns, very, very useful time-saving functions. They're going to save you a ton of time in Excel, so I strongly encourage you to get used to them and start using them. And then if you're more advanced, you could try automating this entire process with VBA macros, but that is more complicated than you think because you need to know what the underlying data looks like first or find some other way to detect it. So it's not quite as easy as you might think to create a macro that does all this and handles all cases, but if you are more advanced and want to really test your knowledge, that's something else that you could do here. In any case, though, now you should know a bunch of time-saving shortcuts and functions that you can use to properly format and clean up data in Excel.